Um, so uh, John and other people can have a look at it and provide feedback. I'm going to provide some information on that internal representation too here in this in this presentation. So basically, the steps are if switch test is available from the commit path of NetFilter that I did of NF tables that I showed you before. Is this is checked just just before um, uh, committing the changes um, in software. So if there is switch test support available, um, uh, we invoke switch dev, and then we um, enable the offload flag, and then. Uh, from um, uh, from the switch the uh, function, we are going to call. We are we are, well, we are going to invoke the front end uh, normalization uh, to 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 obtain the intermediate representation, and that it, intermediate representation is currently heavily based on NF tables. So it's, it's a set of it's a list of statements uh, where you can find expressions, and and there are helpful functions that you can use to walk over the tree. And to generate the hardware representation or to, to jit it into hardware. So, how is this intermediate representation? How does it look like? So, um, as I said, similar model to what we have in user space. So, this is what Patrick designed time ago. Um, so, uh, just for matching, the representation is very simple. So, if we have a, want to match a payload, uh, the payload is represented as a, as a base offset and length. So on the we will have a, relation, a relational expression, and that relational expression on the left hand side has a has a, a payload expression with this information base offset and length. And on the left hand on the right hand side we get we get the value that we want to match. And and all the validation of this input data happens from the the, the corresponding front end. In this case is NF tables that is taking care of that making sure that uh, what we have what, it, it took already care of making sure that the payload is correct and also the value is matching exactly the same length that we want to, to match and so um, all the kind of things that you usually uh, need uh, can be some um, a bitwise operation in this case in the example showing on the right side we have a relational on the left hand side we have a um, uh, binary operation it can be uh, whatever bitwise operation that we need, and then on the left hand side again we get the meta um, the meta expression that will indicate with a label um, the the meta information that you want to to match. On the right hand side of the binary operation, what we get is um, is the value that will be used to to perform the bitwise operation, and on the right hand side of the re relational operation of the re relational expression, sorry. Uh, what we have is, is the value that we want to match. So um, the idea is this is this is for for a matching payload or meet information. We will have this kind of stuff. We we also have a, a expression to represent a prefix, also to represent a range, and so with with this with this thing, it should be possible to to represent the common the common um, matching operations that are performed on the on the on the packet, whether payload or meta information. So, <clears throat> um, the existing expressions available. The AST is, is stands for abstract abstract syntax tree. So we have a relational value, meta, payload, binary operation, and um, this is this is the how the expression looks like. Basically, we have a uh, Type of expression that is basically one of this possible, uh, one of these in the this enumeration, and then uh, we have operations. These operations indicate in case is is in case um, it's a relational. We indicate what kind of relational it is. If it's a comparison, is it greater than? Is less than? Is it um, uh, and or x or whatever? Then uh, we have uh, uh, a field that is generic to all, all um, expressions, that is the length. And then um, the possible expressions that we have, as, as we said, we have a value, we have meta, payload, relational, binary operation. So the, available, the, the value is just a structure, currently is NFT data. And then NFT data is, is just, in a, currently is a ARI of 128, but it's the maximum length that we can use to address data in NF tables, but this could be any arbitrary amount of data, any arbitrary length. 
Then we have uh, Meta, that we have an enumeration. In this case, we are using the NFT enumerations already, but could be, could be generalized. So we have um, enumeration with, with all the Meta information that, is, that we are capable of, of matching from an other uh, front ends, not only NFT tables. And then um, we have the, the payload that indicates the base and offset, the length. We have it uh, here above already. And in case of relational or binary operation, we have a left-hand side and a right-hand side, so it's a pointer to, 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 to another, another expression. So uh, these expressions, as I said, we use them for matching, but for actions, we have in NF tables, we have what we call the statements. And, and basically, the statement expression is an, an, is an statement that you use to match, that is built based on an expression. Good. Then um, we have the payload the statement and the meta statement. These are, these are um, specifically, uh, the purpose of these are, uh, they are designed to mangle payload or meta information. So we have a statement expression for matching payload and meta, and we have the payload statement to mangle payload and, pay, uh, and, and meta statement to modify the meta information. And in this case, we only support so far in my patch set, I only support two, two possible actions that are counter or verdict, but we could, we, could have, we could add more actions there that can be mapped into hardware. So, um, and how does the, the statement looks like is basically a list because uh, the, the tree is implemented as a tree of, of statements, uh, as a list of statements, and then we have a, a statement type. The statement type indicates the, the enumerate that is, enumeration that is uh, there above. And then we have, a, in this case, uh, I have a pointer to the expression, but we will have also, in case it's a pillow, pillow of the statement, meta statement, counter, whatever, and we have the definition of those, of the, 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 the information that those statement has to store there. Okay, so now after this, what we have is, uh, as I said, a list of statements, and this statement can be a, a, a statement of expression kind that contains the tree that specify what we want to match, and then another statement with probably, again, another expression indicating what, what we want to match, payload or meta, and then probably another statement that indicates the action that we want to perform in the packet, and then, again, if there is another action to perform that is not terminal, another action to be done. Good? So uh, we have functions to allocate expressions, indicating the, the, the expression type to destroy them. And we have also uh, functions to, to allocate the, the statements and release the list of statements. This is what I need so far in, in my path set. Then we have a function, this NFT delinearize. Uh, this LFT delinearize is very similar to, uh, to the mailing list was sent as a patch with the, the part that is basically introducing a callback in TC, that the name I think it was, uh, uh, what was it, the name? Is uh, init, init output or, well, I forgot. Anyway, um, this is the linearize function. We, we are using the same definition that we use in NF tables. Could be a different name, we can find a different name. If, so basically the idea is that we pass a, uh, in the case of NF tables, we, we pass the rule, the binary representation of the rule, and that binary representation of the rule is, what is going to be transformed to uh, this intermediate representation that results, results in a list of, of statements. So this is basically what we, I needed to add to the expressions. Expressions in NF tables are basically the extensions. So for every extension that I have is a new uh, a new linearized uh, function that is going is basically going to to convert to convert that uh, software representation in binary to the intermediate representation. So we we don't have we don't have that um, we we didn't touch the we didn't mention the hardware representation so far. Okay, so this is more or less how it looks like. I have in my past I have meta payload CMP bitwise and counter and also verdict and but other actions should be very easy. I mean the statements are easier to, to, to map. So uh, on the back end the parser call graph is represented through, through these. 
uh, we basically in this case we only have to uh, this this is only for the the expressions the other 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 statements this is for matching uh, protocol payload and meta information so we have a description that is this description specifies what the hardware can do and basically we will pass the this intermediate representation or syntax tree and we will call the callbacks we will invoke the callbacks uh, that are uh, set in these description structures to um, um, to uh, populate the, 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 the backend internal representation. Okay, so uh, the protocol description basically contain the base. We are going to have a tree of protocol descriptions. If you, like, if you, look, at he if you look here, these protocols is any array of protocol description. This is indicating the upper layer protocols up on this. So the, the, I show you, but the first structure defined is a uh, the base is uh, link will be link layer, and then that link layer will indicate what can be what can be on what is possible to have on top of of that link layer, and also indicated the, the protocol number type of that link layer. Okay, so basically we, we build that tree of so from link layer, then we'll have network the definition of possible protocols that we have that we can find on the network layer, and then later on. The, the possible protocols that we can find on transport based on what we have on the network layer, okay? And at the same time, um, we have, I'll show you, we have context. We have this, this structure, I call it state, but probably we'll rename it to CTX, to context. This, so this asked, this as syntax tree expression is basically the, um, um, the, uh, the expression the, the statement expression that we want to, to, to represent in hardware. And, and this state is basically a stores context. So instead, instead of, um, in case, when we have a rule, we have different matches and probably one or more actions, good? So instead of uh, transforming those matches individually into hardware representation, uh, well, uh, instead of, no, no, we, we don't only do that. We don't only do that internal represent We don't only do that transformation. I mean, uh, we, we keep context. We, based on what we see, we can annotate what, what it makes sense to, to, to have after. I mean, if, uh, let's say, um, if, if I see a link layer matching ether type uh, protocol and says IP, what it makes sense to find next, is an is any any possible IP IP matching? Otherwise, it's, it's not correct. Good. So, and and all this context information is stored there, and it's uh, it's basically global to to the whole rule that we are um, jitting into hardware. So, well, the meta the meta dis, the meta description is is way more simple. We we only have. Um, one single, we don't have a tree, and we will have the idea is to have a, um, a list of uh, labels that identify all the meta information that can be that can be that is possible to to modify into the hardware. So the 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 context thing, the state object that is local to the to the transformation that happens on to the, when 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 representing that rule into the hardware. Looks like uh, this. We have a pointer to the to the device uh, to the device description. We also have we have a pointer to the context. This context, as I said, tell us uh, on the link layer. It tell us uh, the the protocol that, that we that we well, that we got from user space on the link layer. Then, if we if user space indicated network, what kind of protocol on the network um, on the network layer? And then also uh, TCP, or in case so far, it's limited to, to transport. But we could we could use this context to stack, in case we have multiple headers, tunnels headers, or whatever. We could just um, generalize this context so that we we push into the stack of context the the protocols that we are seeing, and then um, that tree, that protocol tree, uh, tell us what is possible to find next, right? So um, 
And there is a function to transform. Basically, this helper function is going to walk the list of statements. And uh, based on the base protocol de description, every device has to have a base protocol description. Um, we have a we have pointer to the to the structure that internally represents the the, the hardware representation that has the, that the, is the structure that we have to populate in hardware. And there is another function to update context. So based on the on the base so based on the on the protocol where we w w that we have seen, we we can update it indicating um, in this base, this given base for this given protocol, you update context. The definition looks a bit like this. Um, so we have link layer uh, for the link layer header uh, for Ethernet. Then up on it, we have IPv4, IPv6. And then, so this is the protocol up on the link layer. We have uh, the, call, the function that, that we invoked, the function that we invoked uh, for parsing the Ethernet protocol for transforming to hardware. Um, the Ethernet protocol fields, and then um, here uh, we have uh, for the um, upper upper protocol IP, and then here references to the definition of TCP UDP. So this is how it from NF tables. Basically, the idea is to have a flag, a new flag for chains that indicate that this chain is, is going to be offloaded to switch dev and new object in switch dev. And then we are going to pass, the idea is to pass that list of statements. So um, the idea is that the driver uses the helper functions to walk uh, the, the, this, this, this small tree, this list of statements. And, and populate internet representation. I include the handle um, for the deletion case too. Um, and yes, so basically from the commit path, the idea is to check, as I said, I check if, NF, if switch dev is available, call NF table commit switch dev before software commit, just to make sure that to see if the hardware has failed or not. Normalize the NF table software representation into the syntax, the, the, the intermediate representation or AST, uh, abstract syntax tree, or call it the, the way you, you prefer. Uh, pass that inter intermediate representation as a seed switch that object. And then from the driver walk the internal represent the intermediate representation that generate the hardware internal representation. So that's basically it. I'm closing to get to run out of time. If you have any question. Can someone please pass the mic? Um, so you've uh, implemented uh, Rocker backend for this? Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. wondering, um, uh, do you have any plans or do you have any uh, start on, on doing it on real hardware, like a real, real live test uh, to see how well it matches up with the sort of thing that hardware expects? I'd be, I'd be happy to, to work on any real hardware implementation too. I mean, so far what I have access is, is Rocker. So if someone provides access to anything else, I'd be, that would be, that would be great. Any other question? Thank you very much.